Hey guys, Psycho Revolution here, and welcome to my Gmon Machinima series. You're watching episode 14. That's right, baby, I'm back, and today we're learning about green screening and chroma keying. Boom. Now, before you go, wait, I already know how to do this. Exit video. Hold on, you might learn something. I got some different techniques that you probably don't know about, but who knows? Why about hubba? All right, so in order for us to green screen something, we're gonna need a background and a subject to key out. So our subject is gonna be the spy, and this camera, this shot right here is gonna be the background. So let me hide the HUD, let me take a screenshot. I'm taking a screenshot with Bandicam because that is what I'm using to record the tutorial right now. So I hit my Bandicam screenshot key and I just took a screenshot. So we've got our background that we want to be the background of our composition that we're making. So now we need to green screen this spy. Now I don't know why you would do this. Maybe you need the spy on a different layer for an effect just to be on him or something. But I'm just showing this easy, simple non-moving subject and then you can apply it to whatever you need to do so there's three types of ways you can set up a green screen and I'm gonna show you all three and I'll tell you the advantages and the disadvantages of each so the first one we need to change maps I'll meet you on the other side alright here we are at good old GM construct this is for most people when they first try and green screen, green screen something this is gonna this is gonna be where they're gonna go and it's not that bad of an option. Here we have the color room. It's white right now, you go to color, you can change it to green. Make it a green room. Then we need to spawn our spy using the beta skin spy. Let me get this out of here. There we go. Let's stand him up. So that we can take our picture of him with the green background. Now I'll say that uh, the advantage to green screening on GM Construct is uh, the the only advantage is that you don't have to download a map. And that's basically it. That's the sad truth. Because I hate this place. Number one, you got these doors here that you gotta account for when you're taking a shot so you can't be like taking screens over here or whatever because that's in the way and then the lighting you don't really have any control over so let me pose him I'll speed this up to save time alright here we are I posed him in a simple little pose as you can see the shadows are kinda messed up on his face so I'm gonna give GM Construct a fair chance to try and alleviate some of this shadow issue. I'm gonna make a lamp here. Colored it sort of the color I think would match the background. I don't know for sure. But we just need to get rid of these harsh shadows on his face for no reason. See on the, his nose. Okay, so that looks good. Remove the HUD. Screenshot. Okay. Here's our example for GM Construct. Let's move on to the next map. Okay, here we are on the second setup. This one is the downloaded map. It's called Chroma underscore green screen, if I remember correctly. There's two versions. There's this version, and then there's one with trackers, which are basically little light green X's, so you can orientate yourself to the room. But I just, I'm in the normal one without trackers. And as you can see, everything is green. It's already like this. It's just an giant green room and this is a pretty good option better than GM Construct in my opinion I actually use this map for doing the the, the ragdolls that I have at the the title card I guess you call it of all the tutorials so let me get the spy as you can see right here the lighting in this map is white and bright. Get your feet out of the ground. There you go. So you can already tell that we're going to kind of have issues making this look like it belongs in the background. So I got my screen I took earlier from GM Construct up on 
my second monitor, I'm gonna try and match up this one to look as close as possible, so at the end we can compare them all, so give me a second, I'll pose this and I'll be back. Okay, I've posed him, I think he looks pretty close to the last one I did, and you can see here that, like I said, the lighting is not too natural looking. It's more of like a studio lighting since this is sort of more of a studio map. Let's try the lamp again and see if we can make it look better. Make it look more natural. Okay, so that's pretty bright. Uh, that looks pretty good. Remove the HUD. Take a screenshot, and we're on to the last one, my favorite. Let's go. Hey, look at that, we're back where we started. Why you ask? Well, because I got some nifty little techniques to show you. We didn't even need to leave the map. Why did we leave? Why did I show you all that useless stuff? Well, who knows. But here is how I do most of my green screen nowadays. You're gonna need to download a little thingy, a material, a green screen material, this is it right here, and what you're going to do is build a tiny little green screen behind your subject in the area that you're going to have them be in, so the lighting is how it should look. So let me pose the spy how we should be and I'll get back to you like I did the last two times okay catching on yet I think so okay so he's posed in roughly the same as the last two now we're gonna build our little green screen now I like to use whoops what are they called general construction props you've got all these little plates here that are around the right size this one's a little big but who cares so we're gonna position this behind him make sure everything is covered up make sure it's not messing with the lighting at all there we go now let's get to our materials our downloaded green screen material hit that boom but you don't want to take the shot like this because bloom is on that will really screw up your keen of the subject so make sure your bloom is off I showed you that earlier I think in my lighting video if you didn't watch that you can just make the darkened amount of the bloom all the way and that should get rid of all bloom so get rid of all the HUD take our screenshot there we go and now we're gonna put them all into our editing program and key out the green so we just have the spy but I'm gonna save that for the next episode so until then stay sexy what the f happened here